Question number one, and put your dreams to the test, is the ownership question, which just asks, is my dream really my dream? Now, the reason I ask that first is because almost all of us, the first dream that we ever had really wasn't our dream. It was probably our parents' dream. I, I remember my parents when I was just probably five or six, they wanted me to be a musician. They wanted me to play the piano. My gosh, I took piano lessons. I walked down to Wayne Reno's house every week, and I did my little piano lessons, and I wasn't any good in piano. I'm not musical, but boy, my parents were so happy. And when I was in my first recital, I played my little piece. No, they were just happy, happy, happy. And then Elaine Mosley, who had just been taking piano lessons for a few months, I'd been taking piano lessons for two years. She got up and she played. She was so much better than me. I can still remember. I'm, what am I, eight years old? Nine? No more. I thought, oh my gosh, she's good. <laughs> I'm not. But what the problem was I, I was, I was trying to live out someone else's dream. You will never reach the dream that you should reach unless you have ownership. Think about it for a moment. If you go rent a car before you turn it back, do you go say, oh my gosh, I got to go wash this car? I think I'll wax it. No, no, no. It's a rented car. You throw junk in the back seat and don't care. It's not yours. That ownership question is huge in reaching your dream. So is your dream really your dream? Thanks for being with me today on Minute with Maxwell.